So, uh, RJ with the follow, Brian with the follow, and then let me redo this sub. First sub of the day. Yo, Dave with the sub. Thank you very much, man. Welcome. Yeah, for some, I was like, man, we haven't heard anybody say anything in forever. I'm going to keep a sack pack just in case he's zoo. I mean, even Locke has it. Like, even Locke has a hard time beating control decks. Because it's, on, it's literally the second you kill their giants and their twilight drakes, you have to just live through Gul'dan and you win the game. They have no other control. Yo, Andrew with the sub for eight months in a row with... Thank you so much, man. Yo, we're facing your, uh... We're going against some even lock right now. Oh, whoa, 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 is this control lock? I'm confused. This could be cube. I don't know. Two sack packs. I really want a demonic project, but I think I'll wait one turn, right? Because he'll have seven cards. Yeah, I could wait one turn. Well, actually, if he has Twilight Drake, I should probably just use it now. We'll see what we get. Geist. I just got Jaraxxus. I wish it would have gave him Jaraxxus, though. Because if he runs Sack Pact, I lose. So I think I'm just going to coin the Skull and then just go out and just get the Jaraxxus on the board. That's... Eh. So he's control lock too, chat. Lil. What mess have you summoned me to? Man, this is gonna be I can't I can never play Draxus this game, guys. He could literally like if you run sack pack, I lose. And I don't know if you run sack pack. If it was like a uh tournament, like open deck, I would one hundred percent coin Draxus if he didn't run sack pack. But if he does, you know, I I can't really make that judgment call. I'm not going to get nae nae Do I ever just Hellfire this board? Ugh, not really. I stopped tapping. I don't tap anymore in this game, ever. I don't see a reason why I would Hellfire. The problem with the mirror match is that, eh, I don't know. It all depends. Like, he already known Faratsu'd, right? So if I know for like, if we both use our known Faratsu's, we're good. But the problem is if he plays Rin, I will lose. Because I have no silence in my deck. Wow, that was a really sick silence. Oh, he's trading? What? Why? Whatever. Whatever, dude. You should announce your streaming on Discord. People get annoyed at that. You know what? People, people hate announcements. People don't like notifications. If you want to be notified when the stream goes live, there's a little bell at the top. There's a little notification thing on top of the screen, or uh, the streaming thing, and it, it'll, uh, it'll tell you when I go live. I don't like forcing any content down anyone's throat. That's why I don't post twi Twitter shits. Yeah, he does run Sack Pack. That's why I don't do Twitter stuff like, oh, I'm live, or Instagram stuff, or any of that. There's no... No one, no one wants to be bogged down by that stuff. Oh my god. I don't know why my nose is now all congested, but after our win, congestion has started. Oh, there's Rin. Yikes. So how do I win? 
I got to apply pressure. Oh, got my own Rin. I don't want to kill his Rin yet. I, I The problem with my Rin chat is I have this skull out and the skull's gonna summon the main guy. Suddenly I see! Suddenly I wanna be! Suddenly I see! This is where I wanna be! So I have to save Demonic Project for his main bitch. Why don't I run any silence? Because normally I don't need it. There's enough removal in this deck. Most people don't run Gnome for Atsus. Like, this deck, most people don't run Blood Mage, most people don't run Gnome Furatsu, a lot of people don't run Shadow Bolts, uh, most people don't run... Yeah, I think those are the main ones, but I run them because no one else does. Whether it makes the deck worse or not, eh, we'll see. Suddenly I see... There's not, there also isn't a lot of, like, other control locks on ladder. But we have Demonic Project, so the game's not over. Like, if he does the Rin, you know, he makes the final dude, we Demonic Project, and, you know, there's a good chance we could hit it. I mean, my luck, not really, but we'll see. See. Yeah, see. <laughs> I know he can hellfire. But if he does that, he's only playing one seal. And we only have we already have eleven cards in our deck, you know what I mean? So pretty close. This sucks. Suddenly I see. Ooh, Eddie. So do I play my Gul'dan here, or do I twisting Nether into Gul'dan? Because if I play my Gul'dan, he can't seal because he can't well he could actually seal because he can kill his minions all right i don't think i nethered this though this isn't like a netherable board it's not good enough but maybe it is nether and then play my blood reaver <laughs> yeah whatever as long as me and him maintain the same you know what i mean like deck posure we should be fine I have faith that my cards will be better than his. Like, this is just wrong. Like, what he's doing here, he should just double. Like, if he's gonna seal, you gotta double seal. You just gotta go in there. Yeah, he can't summon minions if his bo our board is full. But I forgot that he, if I Gul'dan, that he could just trade his Void Walkers into my Void Lord. Siphon Soul on Jaraxxus. Hero Power. 
Yeah, see, he's right now he's just not sealing, and that's fine, because it just makes it so I don't have to tap. Like, the longer he waits for these seals, the better it is for me. Suddenly I see! Crossmorn's are really, really, really good. He already used a Siphon Soul, which means he has Twisting Nether left. So he could Hero Power down the Void Lord and uh, Twisting Nether. And then I would just go Phantom, Phantom, Phantom. Or I could go Frostmorn. Oh, he's going Hellfire. I actually don't want to get rid of this skull until I draw Void Lord. Just saying. I think he's banking on seals to win. I mean, that don't that how is he banking on the seals if he's only got the first one? Apparently, Void Lord does not want to come. <laughs> yeah, Void Lord's being a bit stubborn, chat. And I need to draw my Gnome Feratsus. I still have two Gnome Feratsus, chat, which will take him to fatigue so much faster. There we go. So he added the Devourer to his hand, correct? So... Alright, let's hit the Devourer. Nope. Nope. I want I, I I don't want to play no bold um because I wanted to transform into a demon but yeah drawing was probably better honestly I was thinking we were gonna hit the guy but I didn't need to play no bold so if he plays the guy uh how much damage do I have I have nine 10 11 12 13 eight 11 12 13 14 15 yeah we're good Let's be alone together. So that's six. So we're pushing 11, 15, 18 damage, 21 if we draw Hellfire. And I save Siphon Soul for his 10-10. Alright, I'm, I'm making it so difficult for him to play this Devour. You know what I mean? Like, I'm constantly putting in big pressure, and I still have a Gnome Feratsu left. If I could draw this Gnome Feratsu chat, we can win. Why would you play Imp? Are you crazy? Oh, so he can Joffers. Uh-oh. That's a really big deal. Alright. 
that might have been the nail in the coffin for me. Yeah, that's the nail in the coffin for me. I needed to draw both known for Atsus this game, man. This is bullshit. Like, how do I not draw my Void Lord or Gnome Feratsu? That sucks. And now he's ahead in fatigue. And he has more cards than me. So, theoretically, I could win. Maybe. But it sucks that these aren't upgraded. You know what I mean? These aren't even upgraded, chat. So he turned a card that hurts him into the best card he could generate. Oh my god. Really, man? This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what... He literally turned the worst card in his deck into the best demon he could have created. Like, really, dude? That's bullshit. Turned it now into a shitty one. Good job. That was like the worst play I've ever seen. If he literally just played the Void Lord there, I, he, like, what the fuck was this? Like, this is horrible. Like, and he already used his spell stones. He might have just lost because he, he, he lit. I'm mad for my opponent. Like, how could you, how could you play this well, right? And get that good of RNG and then throw it all away like that. He's not going to win. There's no way he wins. Well, actually, no, he could win. He could still win. Like, I didn't get to upgrade my spell stones at all. I'm behind in fatigue. Never drew my Noom Feratsus. Didn't even draw my Void Lord. Four next turn, he takes five. We do eight. I don't know, man. It's actually really close. Actually, if he has a Hellfires, he wins. Because next turn, I take seven. So he needs double seven. Yeah, he needs one Hellfire, and he wins. Yep, he's going to Hellfire. Hellfire. No Hellfire? No Hellfire, chat? Oh my god. Down to one HP. Why why did he discard the Hellfire? That's burst. Oh my god. Is this man crazy? Oh, I need to walk it off. I need to walk it off, chat. Oh my god. Why are all of my games like that, chat? Every game we play is some fucking nail-biting, you know, tournament series, top of the end fucking crazy shit game. Every game. Every single time. It's a roll every day I go through an a roll a uh, fucking emotional roller coaster every fucking 15 to 30 minutes. It's a fucking ride. And people ask me why I'm fucking crazy. This shit right here.